We have multiple tornado warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings, and flash flood emergencies ongoing. And I will be hopping on in a little bit to cover this. First, let me give you some updates. This is very important for portions of northern Mississippi, southwestern Tennessee, including Jackson and Memphis, and a small portion of eastern Arkansas. We now have a moderate hatch tornado risk. And you can see we already have rotation just out to the west. Tornadoes are possible in any of these colored regions, so if you live here, be weather alert. We're likely to see the most aggressive portion of this tornado outbreak as we approach 2 o'clock central. You can see this pushing into western Tennessee and western Kentucky. Kentucky at this time, and then over the next 12 hours, making its way out towards Alabama and Central Tennessee. We do still have a very serious tornado threat for southeastern Arkansas and Louisiana, which will be there until around 10 Central for a lot of this region. And this severe threat looks to be moving towards New Orleans and out of Louisiana at around 8 or 9 a.m. Central tomorrow. We currently have an ongoing flash flood emergency in the Little Rock region. This has been observed, and you can see the damage threat is catastrophic for the areas affected. We have another flash flood emergency for Hardy and Cherokee Village in North Arkansas. Unfortunately, I do think we'll probably see more flash flood emergencies. Again, some of these areas are projected to see historic flooding. These rivers and streams are getting very full. There's really nowhere for the water to go in a lot of these areas, so please, please be weather alert. And I know this is the last thing you want me to say, but tomorrow we have another severe risk. The SBC has given a marginal and slight to portions of the Southeast. These storms do look to be making their way into Northwestern Alabama at around midnight tonight. And we could see the squall line approaching the Atlanta Metro at around 8 a.m. Eastern. As we get into the afternoon hours, the Florida Panhandle will get involved. And after all the severe weather is done coming through, we are going to see some very cold temperature anomalies moving down into the central plains and then pushing out east. And we're talking close to 30 degrees below average for some areas. And portions of eastern New Mexico and western Texas could even see as cold as 40 degrees below average, which is why there is the potential for a little bit of snowfall down here, maybe even some areas approaching six, seven inches. And then up here in the northeast and very northern Midwest, you can see we'll have a little bit of snowfall here over the next 72 to 96 hours. Like I said, I'll be getting on live here soon to cover the severe weather. I appreciate you watching this video. If you like this type of content, feel free to throw me a follower sub. I make posts like this every day and I stream every night. I'll see you in the next video.